summer approaches, there are many people who are looking for iced coffees these days, including me. However, in order to drink coffee that doesn't melt or water down quickly and maintains its temperature and concentration, it is said that large ice is better than small ice. This is because the smaller the area in contact with the liquid, the less easily it dissolves. Ice that's instant, instantly frozen at negative 20 degrees melts faster than ice that was slowly frozen at negative 10 degrees Celsius. This is because the ice particles gradually become more sticky. And that's how speed works when you get to know someone. There are times when someone sticks to you in an instant, and there are times when they slowly start to stain every nook and cranny. I hope we can stick together in an instant and go on for a long, long time. So let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Yoon Seok Char and Sejin's Cocktail Paradise. Cocktail Paradise Pina Colata Moito Irish coffee, old fashioned, Manhattan, Hulu, Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, little way, don't want to eat that food, she puts it back. Can you have a movie? You do up, she could young, hot, and a full ship, but you can't get it. I I'm 
Would you like a cup of tea? This is Tea Time Monday. A busy Monday. I'm sure you guys are all suffering from the Monday blues. So we prepared this enjoyable time so we can help you feel a little better on this Monday morning, afternoon slash evening. Our guest today, oh man, okay. So she's the only K-pop singer to participate in the NBC American Song Contest and take home the grand prize. She is now also the host for the global audition program called Codename Puzan, and she is Alexa. Woo! Welcome back! Thank you. Hello, hello. How have you been? I have been good, yeah. Yes, it's been a while since we last had you upstairs yes. in our other program. Yes. But uh, it is your first time on Radio Clock, so yeah. can you say hello to our listeners? Sure. Camera, this camera, that. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Alexa. I'm so happy to be here with Ashley. Your hair color is amazing. Thank you very it's much. Like, um, like Gatorade fairy. Gatorade fairy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take yes, it. Yes, like an elf. Fairy elf. Fairy yes. Elf. Oh, thank it looks you. gorgeous. Thank you. Um, our listeners are all saying hi. Hello, Princess Alexa. Yes, they are happy to have you in the studio today. Ooh. And yes, I'm glad to see you today in the studio too. I mean, what have you been up to since the last time we met? Which was probably <sighs> the beginning of last year. That sounds about correct. Before you went to the American Song Contest. Yeah, I mean, at this point, what haven't I been up to? Uh, aside from like, you know, necromancy, because I can't do that yet. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, last I saw you, I was finishing my promotions for a tattoo. Mm -hmm. And then I immediately was swept off to America for basically half a year mm. uh, for doing the American Song Contest. I also went to the Billboard Music Awards, which was oh a fun gosh. opportunity. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, baby. But uh, <laughs> it was so fun. Whoa. Um, after that, came back, did a lot of like fan signs like fan events in like new york la san francisco uh i had my first leg of my first ever like tour uh -huh. last year uh -huh. um and then did a comeback with back in vogue did yeah and then Dang. everything else is just happening around me and i'm just here for the vibes she so. is <laughs> so busier than anyone else wow <laughs> I, I mean, you remembered all of that, though. I probably skipped was, some things. It was but an eventful year. Very, definitely. Very. <gasps> okay, before we officially get started, which um, tea did you choose? I chose the cover the brand, but it's it's cranberry pomegranate. Get the antioxidants. You know, allergy season. Yes. <laughs> You are suffering from a cold right now, right? I caught a cold about a week ago, but it's it's gone now. It's just the the remnants that yeah. remain that was redundant, but yeah. uh, getting rid of it now. Okay, get yeah. well soon. Thank you. I mean, I I was you know I was expecting her to be here as a singer today, and I was like, oh, did she come make a comeback? So I was like, you know, looking forward to her singing live. But if you guys don't know, this is Tea Time Monday, mm -hmm. and this is just strictly talking, and um, she has a lot to talk to us about today, especially the new program she's in charge of yes. for Arirang TV and that is the main reason she is here so we'll have to have you back another time for all of your lives and singing Jolly good. please yes Jolly good okay so um congratulations again for winning the american song contest amazing very proud the whole arirang um family was proud you know because oh, really? you've been a part of arirang for quite a while you were like a guest on isang Gondi's show too yeah. and yeah so we're like yay so, Thank you, oh. Arina. <laughs> <laughs> and then also you were at the Asian American Awards, right? And you got the Icon Award? Yes, I got the, yes, the Icon Award from the Asian American Awards. I'm like, wow, as Wait, an Asian where, American, where I'm is, is this an American show? Um, as far as it was, it was held somewhere remotely, but like I could not participate due to conflicting oh, schedule. But okay. I was notified I won the award and received it via mail. So, oh, yeah. is who... Um, 
who's in charge of this? Like, is it is it like an American? The thing organizers or? of the Asian American uh, Awards. Is it, so I'm guessing it's like in America. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a great guess. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. That, that's amazing. Thank the you. Icon Award at the Asian Artist Awards. I mean, how do you feel as like a K-pop artist? You know, representing Korea. In it's. It's interesting, especially when people tack on that last bit of representing Korea, because <laughs> I myself am only ethnically half Korean, mm -hmm. and I grew up in a super white area, so I was super disconnected from like my Korean heritage growing mm -hmm. up, but when I moved here is when I really got more in touch with things, and it's so funny, because I'll tell my mom different like facts and things about Korea that she didn't even know, but mm -hmm. you know, it's because she was adopted, so of course she wouldn't know, but, oh. and it's gotten to the point where when I went home last year, I think I went out to eat with my family and the waitress, we were at a ke Korean barbecue restaurant uh -huh. and the waitress starts speaking to my mom in Korean. And my mom just looks at me like, help me. That's <laughs> just like, okay, I got this. I got it. But it's interesting how these things are working out right now. Wow. And she's keeping up with all of the things you're doing, all the promotions. She is. And I love my mom to pieces, but every day it's like, what are you doing today, honey? And it's like, I, 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 I don't know yet, mom. I don't know yet, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she get to see you perform, like, live? Yes. So, actually, for the American Song Contest, I think for the first round, mm -hmm. both my dad and mom were present. For the second round, it was my dad and my brother, because I think my mom was actually sick that day. Mm -hmm. But for the finale, thank God, she made it along with my dad, so they were both able to watch me perform and take home the trophy. Oh, my gosh. Were your parents crying? They were. I was oh. sandwiched in between them, and as soon as my win was announced, we were mm -hmm. just falling oh. into each other it was disgusting crying but it was <laughs> it was emotional and it was a very touching moment for us so oh. did your brother cry too my brother is more of the stoic type oh, it was okay. kind of more of a pat on the back like yeah. you did great sister good job like, good job and he's my younger brother by the way oh, so my brother's even... like that too my younger brother's like that too yeah mm -hmm. he'll he won't ever come in for a hug unless i'm like open your arms exactly like, i'm yeah. like hug me i haven't seen yeah. you in five years <laughs> same <laughs> anyway, so it's been how many years since you debuted? I debuted back in 2019, and if I can do math, that means it's been four years. Yes, not even five years yet, yeah, and you've even. experienced so much. <gasps> Very wow. blessed and grateful for the opportunities that have come my way. So, What else is kind of like on your bucket list? Or Ooh, bucket list? Yes. Um, I mean, you know, there's a bunch of things I would love to try out at least once, mm -hmm. a few events I would like to attend, but I think... First and foremost, the thing I would love to tackle the most right now mm. is having a collab with a um, foreign artist. Ooh, yeah. who exactly? I mean, personally, I love Doja Cat. <gasps> I think it'd be really fun to collab with her oh, or Rico her. Nasty. Mm. But uh, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Please say something to Doja. Oh, oh me, oh my. Just in case you know, she watches. <laughs> I, hi, Doja. I don't know if you'll remember me, but I'm the weird little K-pop girl with blue hair that took a picture with you of billboards. Um, I think you're fantastic. I've been a fan of you since your SoundCloud. Um, so I think it'd be great if we could collab sometime in the future. Woo. <laughs> please we want to see it happen doja and alexa collab please please, please. <laughs> oh wait um so if you got like another opportunity to do a survival program like a competition mm -hmm. program would you be down to do it oh by all means because now i understand korean so <laughs> really <laughs> a, lot, a lot smoother and a lot of mental a lot less of mental stress for me so what about in america like an american show you know why not i mean i did american song contest mm -hmm. if they threw me on well, you know, america doesn't really have survival shows they have True. audition shows yeah, but yeah. if they made something similar to the i don't know produce format or something it'd mm -hmm. be fun i'd give it a go Wow, you, you are okay with, like, you're mentally strong, I guess, for, like, the survival, like, competition. I'm good at acting like it, but they'll never know the truth. Hey, you gotta <laughs> fake it till you make it. Exactly. And it's, that is hard to do also, so just the fact that you are able to do that is amazing. Thank you. Okay, well, I can't wait to see what's in store for you, like, as a musician. Thank you. Um, and today, we wanted to talk about the new program you're in charge of. Yes. It's called Codename Busan. Codename Busan. And to our radio listeners, you guys might be familiar with the name because I had this segment called Codename Ashley for like four yeah, years. Okay. 
Is that where Xi Jinping got the idea? I wonder. Codename Ashley. You were the inspiration. You were the muse. <laughs> but it's codename Busan. And can you tell us a little about this show? <laughs> can you tell us a little about this show? So first of all, we're not selling car insurance. I know that's kind of <laughs> it's the running gag between me and Christian. Wow. That it looks like, do you need car insurance? And I'm like, call this number on your screen right now. Um, yeah, we're not selling car insurance. But basically, Korea is in the running to host the 2030 World Expo, which is a really big deal. Um, and I know a lot of countries are in the running for this, but Korea, we're trying to grab the bull by the horns and take it. Yes. We want this. Mm -hmm. um, and so right now, in uh, retrospect to that, we are basically hosting this online audition program. Uh, submissions are now over, but basically we went through a bunch of uh, people who've submitted their singing and dancing videos pertaining to K-pop. And so we see them, we review them, and during the show, Christian and I, and also whatever K-pop guests we have that week uh we get a chance to talk to the competitors via zoom oh. but the thing is uh their identities are concealed and hidden they are made anonymous by the use of an ai mask filter basically oh. mm -hmm. so you'll never know what they look like not until if they make it to the finals and we bring them to korea but until then they remain anonymous so every week you have different k-pop artists come in every other, other monday yes every, every other, other monday uh-huh i think for week Week one, it was Trenzy and Kingdom. Last week was Dream Note and Must Be, if I'm correct. Oh, uh -huh. and they judge as well? They come in and basically give advice to the mm. contestants. Like, oh, you know, if you want to improve your singing or have more confidence while dancing, they give like a lot of good advice to our uh, rookie participants. Wow. I mean, you've participated in a survival program, competition program before. What is it? How does it feel to be a host at one? It's, it's very interesting. It's like, oh, how the turns have tabled. <laughs> like, <laughs> turns have tabled. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> because, I mean, I got my start in k-pop thanks to an online audition program mm -hmm. similar to this mm. uh, oh there we are i am so short <laughs> oh my so god short. no it's petite <laughs> fun size let's call it petite but petite. cute but um it's it's very interesting being on the opposite side being the one observing and actually seeing these uh, young people with such aspirations to become an artist it's like mm. wow i was there once so i understand how you feel <gasps> and these are all uh international participants yes. foreign participants around the globe wow mm -hmm. so do they have to speak english then since you guys are doing talking via zoom um, I mean, everyone we've spoken to does speak English. Mm -hmm. Some participants actually speak a little bit of Korean as well. Mm -hmm. I know that in the last episode, we had a pair of twins. Uh, <gasps> they both either lived respectively in Busan or in Seoul. So they spoke a little bit of Korean. Oh. So it was pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. <gasps> this is a screenshot of the live stream. Yes. This is aired on the Arirang TV. Arirang YouTube. TV and the Gorbangi K-pop channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's live streamed every other Monday. What time? Korea time? KST. It is nine. No, five. Why did I say nine? That's the other radio. I'm so sorry. Five. Five p.m. Five. Yes. Five p.m. KST every other Monday. Yes. So not today, but next Monday. Correct. Next that is Monday. why she's here today. Correct. It's not airing today. Yes. But next Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a song break, guys. If you guys have any questions or messages for Alexa, let us know. But we're gonna go listen to a song by Alexa from the American song contest wonderland Me foaming out the mouth like a rabbit dog. I'ma have to put myself on a leash, though. Living rent free in my head, he's your least. Oh. Again and again, you keep 
Take my thoughts coming back And you ain't even a dealer But I still be in your trap I need a doctor, a doctor My heart is under attack When it's too good to be true But then it's usually that But I know how these things work out Fun to believe But they always leave Hot feeling up, I think I'm in trouble Bet that you let me down by double Off with your head, stop thinking in love That was Wonderland by Alexa, who is joining us in the studio today for Tea Time Monday. Uh, Tigger Shear says, was it difficult to memorize and perform Wonderland, I wonder? So with that, I literally had one day in the studio with the choreographer and the dance team to learn it. Um, and then I, my team rented out dance practice rooms in L.A. when I was there so I could practice it by myself. And then we had one run through before the live show with the team and everybody. So... Yeah, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you still remember like the choreography and the performance? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's interesting because the original choreography, we did some tweaks here and there because mm -hmm. we wanted to make certain aspects more challenging. And we also wanted to pull away from certain parts because I had to sing live on the show. Yeah. So there were certain movements that the choreographer had put in where I'm like, I can't, can't. sing live mm. if I'm doing a chest isolation that mm -hmm. way, you know. But um, yeah, the choreography basically stayed the same all three rounds. We just <gasps> upped the ante for the beginning and the finale parts. What? Yeah. Huh. Only one like lesson and then one run through yes, just ma live. Mm hmm. Yep. I did not sleep for days. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was crazy. You I mean, made it. Cable artists do the same, basically, you know? Sometimes. Is it just me? Sometimes. For my song Revolution, I only had two days of practice before music video, so. <laughs> 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 oh, Yuno says, I always listen to the Korean version of the song. It sounds fresh to listen to it in English. Oh, well, thank you. Oregon says, Oh my gosh, I think I'm looking at Alexa more than Ashley today. Sorry. I'm sorry. My hair is like, she's uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> okay, I'll pajo you just for one day. Okay. <laughs> Um, Teto says she looks like a character from LOL, League of oh. Legends. Do you play? Uh, okay, games? so I tried it before, but I'm very not coordinated with hand-eye stuff on keyboards. My brother plays it. He's an avid player. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say I loved the TV show that came out last year or the year before. I'm obsessed with that character. So what? Thanks the, for the character comparison. has a TV show? There's like a backstory for this one character that I love. Yeah, What's it's on the name the, it's of the called, character. Well, her name is Jinx. Jinx? She has long blue braids. She's crazy. I love her. Is that why you dyed your hair blue? Not intentionally, no. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll take it. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we're talking about her new show, which mm -hmm. is called Codename Busan. It's because we are rooting for the um, Busan Expo to be held you know, the expo to be held in Korea mm -hmm. in 2030. So I heard that this uh, global, is audition, uh, global audition is special for a number of reasons. And the first one is because... Why? The first one is because why? It's because <laughs> it's a project for <laughs> the expo, World Expo in Busan. Yes. Yes. And so basically we're doing this as a big, like, like what's the word I'm looking for? 
promotional purposes, I guess. Yeah, so you're kind of like a Busan ambassador right now. I mean, kinda I wouldn't like... dare say ambassador. <laughs> that's that's a little Budemsa Rowe. ambassador well. for but, Busan. I mean, just to get the hype going, because, you know, not only do we want to make this known in Korea, but obviously with this global fan base mm-hmm. participating, we want them to know, hey... Busan would be a great place for the World Expo 2030, just saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Have you been to Busan before? I've been once, and it was for work. I got <gasps> on the train, did my job, and came back. So I did not have time for sightseeing. No. Or... Which area did you go to? Do you remember? I do not remember. Oh, my goodness. It was like two years ago. I don't you remember. You have to go before November, before yes. they decide. Yes. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I heard the food is bomb there. So yes. Do you like seafood? I love you seafood. You like raw seafood? I love oh, raw okay, seafood. You're, you're, no you're good. Yeah. You're good. Do you like soju? I do. Okay. You're good. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Woo, Just party. go okay. to any of the beaches. Go to like the dock. They'll all have the outdoor seating area with the raw fish and then the soju. It's like the vibe is perfect immaculate okay yes, great yes. i feel like you'll love it party um but when you think of Busan, even though you haven't like been there to vacation you mm-hmm. just went there for work is there like an image that comes to mind <laughs> sorry <It's okay. laughs> are you okay <laughs> she's inhaling she's inhaling and then a cough happens <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> it's okay. She is she, she's still recovering from her cold. So <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Breathe, cough. Wow. Okay, weird. Um, I mean, I do imagine it kind of being like a little bit beachy because I do know that Busan has a lot of beaches. Mm-hmm. But also, um, whenever I went, I think I was near like a harbor area. Mm. So I mean, the thing that does come to mind for me is seafood when I think of Busan, actually. Yeah. But. I'm pretty sure there's many wonderful aspects that I did not get to experience when I was there for eight hours. Eight hours? So <laughs> Not even a full day. Not even a full oh, day. I was wow. expecting to stay the night, go back the next day. No. Oh, that's so no. evil. I mean, you're Darn busy, you so <laughs> <laughs> next time you can go for vacation, hopefully. Hopefully. And another special reason is because it's the first AI audition or AI program yes. for Arirang TV. Mm-hmm. So I want to I want to give our ideas an idea of what the show looks like, just be, uh, just in case they've never checked it out. Mm-hmm. So what does AI audition program look like? We brought a little snippet oh. of the show. So can we see the video? Okay. Oh, yeah, so here you can see they're using an AI filter on the phone Whoa. to uh, change their face. So as you can see, like, she looks very different from <gasps> what is shown on the screen. But the AI filter looks so realistic. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That Technology. is not her face. It is not. It is AI. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we had all three members of uh, Dream Note try it out. And who do, whose face does this belong to, this filter? It is so, basically, there is an AI girl group called Eternity, mm-hmm. and we are borrowing the faces of two members, if I'm correct. Uh-huh. And, yeah, it just alternates between the members. Oh, my gosh. What's really fun is we actually had a member of the audience in our mm-hmm. little A-square, second-floor area, try it out as well, and mm-hmm. she was like, oh, man, this is cool. So it's interesting seeing not only idols try it out, but also, like, you know, regular people too and they're like wow ai technology is so cool so when you do zoom with uh their listeners Mm -hmm. uh, with the participants from all over the world they all look the same except they have they have different hairstyles and different clothes but they have the same face this person's face the same filter is being used yeah whoa it looks way too real (laughs) whoa 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 Oh my gosh! Did you try to filter yourself? I have not yet. I will make sure to do that. Oh my gosh! You guys, you and Christian should try it. Oh yeah, it. no, we should make Christian use it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we want to see it. Oh, okay, bonita. Okay. Yeah, because there are male participants too, right? There, are there male male participants? I would assume there are. We have not had any yet. Not yet. Okay. Because I'm like wondering yeah. how the filter works for the male participants. Like, they'll just look extra bonita. Just, okay. Okay. Bonita. <laughs> What if um, the listeners want their face to be shown? What if they t- want their face to go public and they don't want to participate as an anonymous? I mean, as far as I know, that's just that's the rules of the game, buddy. You got to stay anonymous until the finals if you are selected. Whoa. I think and if you don't make it, then I'm pretty sure you could post something on social media. Be like, hi, I was auditioning for Quentin Poussin. But oh. till now, as long as you're like talking with us you've got to remain anonymous whoa so the submissions for this is already over right the yes, submissions are i believe over. the submissions ended on april 28th if i'm correct mm-hmm. but right now we're gathering our 
people for our round two. Oh, so. how many people are you going to choose? If I'm correct, it's out of 30, if oh. I'm correct. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, 30 participants. Are they mostly dancers or singers? From what I've understood, mm -hmm. the majority of our participants are dancers, but we do have some vocalists in the mix as well. Oh, so are those the only two... Um, things you could try out for either singing or dancing i mean you can do singing dancing rap whatever is like your oh, like rap. specialty oh, yeah. but i would say the vast majority are <gasps> dancers what about acting um <laughs> i mean you could what about instruments i mean i can play a mean recorder i should audition <laughs> with like an AI filter, what about like guitar or like drums or like does that work i mean in retrospect, it could, but I don't think that's the kind of talent we're looking for for ah, this Code Pusant. So, like, kind of like a K-pop star. Exactly. Kinda. Like, ah, yeah. Wow. So, do they all sing or dance to K-pop songs? Yes, everything is basically done in that format. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Okay. So, out of the thirty contestants, um, what's are you guys just choosing one winner or? Ah, so we're gonna take from this thirty, we're mm -hmm. gonna take ten. And then from the 10, we're going to take two. And they're going to be the ones we bring to Korea for the finals. Oh, my gosh. You guys are inviting to them to Korea? We are. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be a big deal for whoever wins. So best of luck. <gasps> and you're going to send them to Busan? Yes, Busan. Whoa. You're going to have more time there than I did. Can so. I participate? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, put no, the AI filter on. Why didn't I know? I could, <laughs> if, if, there's, if you could do an AI filter, they would have never known. Get How would they know? How, How would, would they, they know? know? How would they know? They'd, They'd know. be like, okay, we'll send you a plane ticket. I'd be like, just kidding. You don't need to send me a plane ticket. Just send me a taxi. <laughs> I'll be there. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see who will be chosen. Mm -hmm. So good luck to everyone who participated oh, yeah. and sent in their video so far it I, I feel like it might be a little um intimidating too to have you judging and mm -hmm. then also like the k-pop idols judging as well but they're brave and they're confident yeah i, I mean that. have no fear i mean again at the end of the day we're most likely not going to know who you are unless you get chosen for the True. finals so have no fear you have that like, little safety shield of like anonymousness there's a word like anonymity or something i can't say words anonymity anonymity something like that you're gonna be anonymous, anonymous. anonymous. anonymity so have no fear have no fear <gasps> do you remember which countries um participants sent in their videos from just like to just a few uh i think we had someone from france on the first episode mm -hmm. which is really interesting because oh. i believe one of the idols that we had as a like a guest on the episode speaks a little bit of french so mm. that was fun um, I'm pretty sure, I want to say Singapore mm -hmm. as well was another one, oh. but I mean, I mean, again, just from all over. Yeah. Like East Asia mm -hmm. and like Europe and America, et cetera, yes. et cetera. Interesting. I heard that, um, all the participants have like a mission that they have to complete. The mission. Like mission, mission, swing, swing. So mission basically, swing. the mission, the <laughs> mission is the mission. Codename Busan has a mission. If you are chosen, if you are chosen, there's a mission that you got to do later on. Yes. And for now, it remains our top secret oh, it's a secret. secret. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, it's, I'm being sure chosen. it's something related to Busan and Busan Expo. So you will have to participate in a mission. Yes. Okay. Oh, Yuno said, when will AI create a girlfriend for me? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <sighs> eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> eventually. Eventually. Yes. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> and Tigger Shira responded, you don't need an AI girlfriend, you know. You're awesome and we'll meet a special someone soon, I'm sure. How sweet. So sweet, so sweet. Aww. <laughs> okay, let's take a song break, guys. We'll be right back. This is AT's on the track with Mung the Real. Mot the Real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, 
신기라. 시마시오 You're now listening to and watching Radio Clock on both Arirang Radio and TV. Radio Clock, time to watch radio. We're in the studio with Alexa today, who's been hosting the codename Puzan Show. And uh, you've been co-hosting with Christian, right? Yes, Christian How Burgos. How is that? How's the chemistry? Were he you guys awesome. friends already? The thing is, we had like Amin's height. Like I had met him a few times here and there because we did like the same like TV shows together once or twice. Mm-hmm. But like we never had much time to like, yep. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> uh, we never really had time to get close, uh-huh. but co-hosting this together, we've actually gotten a chance to talk a lot more, learn mm. more about each other. He's a really cool dude, like really cool dude. Oh, I see. Are you guys? What's the age gap? Are you guys the same age? Great no. question. Uh, I think Christian is older. Ninety-two. Oh, I think. maybe, maybe. Maybe. Because I know that we're not the same age and he's older, but I, mm. not by much, though. So, Ooh. And he has to look down at me because <laughs> I am small. <laughs> <laughs> not that much down, though. Not that There's much. insoles in the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just wear heels. It's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, Christian, I've only, like like said hi to him mm. in passing. I've, I don't really know him too well, but what do you think his biggest charm is as an MC or host he's just very charismatic that's mm. the thing he's very charismatic no matter what he says or does it's like you are an interesting guy like, yeah his pose in the poster was it's um, the car yes. insurance pose like, yeah car insurance very pose. charismatic indeed <laughs> you can feel the energy through the screen yeah that was car insurance <laughs> his eye his gaze is like yes exactly it's I could so... put my trust in him yeah it's very trustworthy I give him a hundred thousand yes. dollars very for reliable insurance. yes yeah you look reliable too right? Like, do just I trust me? Yeah, like, trust me. Yes. Call this number on your screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, why did you do that pose? Was the thing it? is, these weren't like pictures. These are just stills taken from a video we did. Oh. Because <laughs> we saw that on the first day, we were like, why are we a car insurance commercial? <laughs> 
<laughs> but we've grown to love it. We've grown oh, to love it. No, we love it. We love it. Oh my goodness. Um, but I did hear that, you know, it's I mean, it's not the first time you're hosting a show, is it? No, right? Uh, I mean, you've had experience hosting a podcast. Yes. You've done you've done a lot of radio before. Yeah, I've so done you a lot have of experience. Radio, yeah. Yes. So I heard that your, you know, your hosting skills mm-hmm. are very very good and oh, are, everyone's been complimenting you thank you um but it is live like a f- yes. for a full hour is there any, was there any time when you felt like oh my gosh like when you panicked or when you d- doubted yourself or didn't uh, know if you were doing a good job i will say up until now there have been times when i've missed one or two lines on the cue cards but then that's where christian steps in and he just mm-hmm. says it and then i'm yes, like oh reliable. i can't read very, so. <laughs> that happens though because the cue sheets aren't that big you know and then like you you lose track and like you know the thing is it's right there but i just get carried away talking or oh, i just get oh. carried away reacting to what's going on oh, and then oh. i don't see what's highlighted in pink and i'm like hmm that was my cue but i missed it <laughs> but you're a natural you you're good at acting like nothing just something just happened you're just They'll like never nothing know. happened like never you know, let them moving know your next on. Move. yes she's very good at faking it Thank like you. you know you'll never Thank know you. um but we did prepare some like emergency oh. situations okay. to see how you would deal with it all right um so do you see the prompter in the in the front right here i do so you're gonna act like you are doing a live show of codename Pusan right now and all then right in the prompter you're gonna see um the situation that you're faced with and all how right. would you deal with it okay. i will explain to you okay 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 so the first situation you're you're hosting right now. Mm-hmm. You're on camera. Mm-hmm. I'm Christian. Okay. And uh, we're hosting like ha 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 yes. Ah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm like oh 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 my stomach. Oh no, oh. Christian, are you okay? Yes. And he he left the camera. You can't see him on camera anymore. And the comments are like, where's Christian? What happened to him? Oh my gosh, is he okay? Is he okay? And then you have one minute to stall before the next participant comes oh, on. Great. What are you gonna do for one minute? Okay, man, you know, it's just so unfortunate that Christian did not feel well, but he was just so stricken with the talent that we just saw. He couldn't handle it, so he used to take a little bit of a rest, catch his breath, maybe drink some water, maybe sit down for a bit. It, the talent was just too much for him to take in, uh, but somehow I am stronger than him in that aspect. So I'll be here holding the fort down while we're waiting on Christian to get back on his feet. Uh, I will say the talent has been extraordinary. I myself am blown away, not to the point of getting stomach pains, but uh, again, I'm just super amazed by everything we're seeing, and I'm just so grateful to see all of you guys wanting to participate at Code Busan. Like, it's astounding, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like whoa <laughs> dude you would have gone on and on like I didn't, if i didn't stop you you would have kept going for sure girl no sign of panic on her face whatsoever such a pro Thank such you. a such a pro Thank okay you. the second situation okay okay there's a participant the ai participant is on auditioning uh-huh. but they're not in their best um condition like mm-hmm. they're not feeling too well so they can't show off their skills they mm-hmm. keep their voices keep cracking mm-hmm. they're missing the beats and they're singing like and then the comments are all very like what is going on like dot dot mm-hmm. dot ew like get out you're oh, horrible yeah. uh-huh. and then the participants like <laughs> they start crying like uh-huh. <laughs> and then how are you how are you gonna comfort me okay easily so you know what everyone has an off day i mean when i debuted i literally slipped and fell on stage two times and that is forever ingrained on the internet you can look it up my debut stage falling horrible i was embarrassed i was crying afterwards <laughs> But the important thing is you're here doing this now and you have the confidence to be in front of us showcasing your talents. And it's okay if you're not doing your best. I don't do my best half the time. and I do regret it, but that just gives me motivation to do better next time, you know? And again, you're the one here actually in front of us. People on the internet are just sitting at their keyboards doing nothing, you know? They're, they're, they're shy. They're not brave enough to do what you're doing. Can I go again, please? If you would love to, we would love to hear you go again. Really? Take, drink some water, maybe some hot tea if you have some oh, for your voice. Okay, you're so nice. I, I Thank try. You. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, I felt so reassured. <gasps> you know how to comfort people. You oh, like thanks. relate to them, mm-hmm. you comfort them, oh, yeah. and then you t- tell them to go again. Mm-hmm. Wow, she's such a reliable, trustworthy host, <laughs> trustworthy. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
<laughs> okay, I'm sweating. <sighs> Um, but yeah, I mean, you said in the beginning, like mm-hmm. you've been through this before. Oh, you've yeah. actually, was there any time that you like made a mistake or you couldn't show your all on stage? Yeah. Um, the thing is for me, so, I mean, like I just mentioned when I debuted, I slipped on stage twice and it was what? bad. It was very noticeable. When? Like on a music broadcast? Yeah. What? Literally my debut stage. And it was one of the upper angle cameras that was facing down. And so you could literally see me sprawl out on the stage when I slipped. Why? Because the shoes were slippery? Uh, so I don't... So when I debuted, I wore these big boy platforms, uh, like the size of my head. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. And I had to dance in those babies. And uh, I uh, slipped. Uh-huh. Didn't break my ankle, thank God. Oh, thank, thank goodness. God. But um, yeah, that was the worst mess up of my life. Uh, and then occasionally, like, even during my concerts, I will forget, like, one move and I'll blank out for a second and mm-hmm. I'll just gesture and I'm like, okay, I come back in now, okay. Mm. But, yeah, I mean, I still forget things and mess up to this day. I mean, nobody's perfect. Like, oh. not to say you shouldn't try your hardest when you're performing, because after all, fans are coming to see you perform. Yes. But if you mess up once, it's not the end of the world. So. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think in the beginning of my career, like, if I made one mistake, I'd, like, beat myself up so mm-hmm. hard for it. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I would cry. Me. And I would also get in trouble. So, Same. like, I would hate myself even more. Yep. Like, so stupid. Why did I do that? Exactly. Like, you know? But, but hey, you know, gotta, you learn things. Things come with time. Yes. I mean, no matter how professional you are, you can still mess up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Forgive yourself and then practice harder and then don't make the same mistake. Yeah, learn right. from your mistakes. That's it. Okay. Oh, we have one last scenario. Oh, boy. You're about to introduce the last participant, okay? okay. The stage. You know, but this is online and this is via Zoom mm-hmm. and internet connection's not always the smoothest, mm-hmm. right? And then so the participant keeps breaking up and mm. the staff is trying to get, you know, in- get connected with that person again, mm-hmm. but there is... They, they are disconnected or okay. they're like this they're like hi Ali. Uh, so i'm so happy to see you today <laughs> so uh, yeah it just keeps raising uh-huh. like that so then they're like okay we'll just connect with you another time and then they're like stall you gotta stall one more minute uh-huh. before they get connected again how would you deal with this situation okay um so i mean the fact that we're using these ai you know technology filters is incredible we can see what technology can do but at the same time technology also has its downsides because as you can see sometimes wi-fi doesn't always work and even though if i'm pretty sure correctly that korea is logistically the country with the fastest wi-fi sometimes even the wi-fi messes up but that's okay at the end of the day we're probably gonna connect with this contestant again no not probably we will we guarantee that if they don't guarantee it i guarantee it we'll reconnect with them and give them another equal opportunity if not privately with just the pds or maybe once again on next week's broadcast we will see but uh yeah you know technology ain't it the darndest (laughs) yeah (laughs) 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 oh i just wanted to just let you finish the show i just wanted to be like okay keep going keep going just keep going keep going (laughs) Amazing. Let's give a round of applause to Alexa. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Man, okay, well... Well, we know now you're how professional you are, so we're not worried about that. But yes, we really want the Pusan Expo 2030 to be held. Yes. In Korea. Yes. So we are rooting for that. Mm-hmm. And that is why we have come up with, they have come up with the code show, name Codename Pusan. So make sure to tune in. Well, we have a few minutes before we go. Oh. Um, but do you have any um, like music plans uh, to be released? Well, uh, I don't know how many of you follow me on social media, but not too long ago, I think it was over the weekend, mm-hmm. uh, we posted a photo with the caption 202306. Uh, so, gee, I wonder what that could be. Gee, why did I cut my hair and why do I keep dyeing it? <laughs> <laughs> thinking thinking very hard the gears are turning hmm 2023 <laughs> what could that mean i don't know yeah so it's gonna be summertime yes, very summertime. soon it's gonna come sooner than mm-hmm. you know so you're gonna be juggling both uh codename pusan and like your comeback stuff when you 
Yes. Uh, and if there's anything else, uh, this coming weekend, I will be in Japan. Oh, for yes. KCON. Yeah, for KCON Japan. Ooh. So, Are really you going to be performing? Excited. I'm not main stage, but I will be performing, though. Oh, it's like Coachella. They have, like, different stages. I guess so. I I'm not, not really familiar with the format because I've never been. This is my first time. Woo. But, Whoa. yeah. I didn't know that. Well, you're still going to be performing, yes. right? Yes. <gasps> Awesome. So if you're in Japan, is it in Tokyo? Tokyo, yes. Yes. If you're in Japan, Tokyo, you're planning on going to KCON, make sure to check out Alexa's stage and say hi to her. Yoshi She's nice. Kamehashi she was. won't bite. She'll love it if you come up and say hi to her. So please do so. And then this Pusan Expo um, code name Pusan, the final two participants that get voted. Who is there? Is this like a voting system or do you guys just choose? I believe it's a bunch of things going on behind the scenes, but they will be selected. They okay. will be selected. Okay, so the yes. two finalists who are selected will come to Korea. Mm -hmm. We'll get a chance to visit Pusan. Um, so please, everyone, show your interest and show your love for this show until the very end. And good luck to all the participants on the show. Yes. Um, is there anything you want to say to your fans and listeners? Um, I mean, first and foremost, like what Ashley said, tune in every other Monday to Arirang TV and Gorbangi K-pop channel to check out Kone Busan at 5 o'clock. Wink. Um, aside from that, uh, just got a lot of stuff coming this year. Don't know when everything's going to come out. Just bear with us. Be patient, please. And I hope that you enjoy everything that we've been working on because we've been working on a lot. So, yeah. Yes, whatever you come back with, I know it's going to be uh, an awesome one. So we'll just stay patient. And when you do make a comeback with your album, please come visit one more time. If you'll have me. Yes, so we can see you dancing and singing and Gladly. everything. All right, guys. So we're going to say goodbye to Alexa. Uh, make sure to tune into our show once again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 3 p.m. as usual. And our last song is Stray Kids' Backdoor. And this has been yours truly, DJ Ash and Alexa. Shine on loves. Bye. <laughs> Hey, you wanna come in? That's why you're a drug. Don't want to go to gas. It's a more penal party. Gambling on the batches. Oh, I'm nice. Ego of your child. Champog and anger. That pickle man. That would take a new good ado. We're good. Go no back. You're a bam. Say, I'm not the thing. I could have more bam. Say, oh. Son Javier. Don't you think I want to talk about that boy? Hey, do it and pull up now, 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 hey. Three, two, one. Come to tell me, try to come to show you back.